B'Shem Hashem Na'asa V'Natzliach, this is Parshas Parshat Noach, and we wish everybody a healthy, happy new year. It's my Bar Mitzvah Parsha, and I wanted to say, share with you amazing insight from the Zerah Shimshon. And that is why exactly were the generation of the flood punished. In the Torah we read in chapter 6 of this week's Parsha, Pasuk 13, Hashem says to Noach, the end of all flesh has come. Because the whole world has become full of robbery and thievery. So because of thievery, they were embezzling and stealing and robbing each other. Hashem said, I'm going to destroy the world. The Gemara in Sanhedrin 108 says that you should know they had done many immoral and sexual sins in the time of Noah, homosexuality and bestiality and wasting their seed. But their ultimate stamp for them to be destroyed was only because that they stole. So the Zerah Shimshon is very bothered. If he says, if you look in the Torah, and the Chazal and the Midrashim, it seems honestly that the main problem with the generation of Noah was sexual immorality, like I just said. So why were they only, their death sentence, that the world's death sentence essentially was sealed and they had no more defense because of stealing? Why be stealing? How do we reconcile? So he says, there's an amazing Gemara in Brachot 32a. The Gemara says, Di Zahav. When Moshe Rabbeinu was reprimanding and reminding the Jews of Jewish history, he says that the eagle, the golden calf sin, he calls it too much gold. So Moshe Rabbeinu is telling him, what can bring a nation of Israel that saw God face to face? go ahead and do idol worship on that same mountain that they crowned God their king and they said the glorious words, Na'asev and Ishma, De Zahav. God, you gave them too much good. You gave them too much blessing. So much, sometimes too much of a good thing could corrupt a person. And we know the Gemara says Hashem agreed to him because in Hosea it says they got silver and gold and they made the Baal. So when Hashem judged the generation of the flood, one can say that we know the Midrash and the Gemara says that in the time of the flood and Noah, Noah made the life easy for people. He created agricult agricultural tools. And in the time of the flood, they had a taste of the next world. Again, God showered them with unlimited blessing. And this brings us back to the reason why stealing, them embezzling and thievery sealed the deal of their death sentence. Why? See, although the people of the generation of Noah could argue that God, the reason why we became so sexually immoral is because you blessed us with so much and we didn't have to work and we had... So we became drowned in self-indulgence and sexual sin. But... That maybe there was a rationale and excuse, just like the Jews, if they had not taken out so much gold and silver with them, they would have never had the opportunity to build a golden calf. By the same token, the people of the generation of the Noah could have argued, hey, we have been blessed so much and we don't have to work and batala mevele shi'amum, when you're when you have everything and you have no work, it causes you crazy ideas to come into your mind and that's why we sexually sin. But that, there was no excuse for them stealing. And I love it how the Zerah Shimshon says, you can't have your cake, your pie and eat it too. It's either this way or that way. They had absolutely no excuse for stealing because they were blessed unlimitedly. They didn't have to work. Noah had made their life easy. So... Either you steal because you're in bad straits, you don't have money. So if you have no money, you don't want to die of hunger. So, But 
or you live immorally because you have too much, but you can't have both. And that's the fact that God said, it's such a beautiful Zerah Shimshon. I, was, I had this question my entire life. The Gemara says, if you have a whole basket full of different variety of sins, but stealing seals the deal for you to get punished. The reason is because if you have wealth, why would you steal? It must be because you just want to be nasty and evil and rebel against God. And that's really why they deserve to be punished. And this is what the Chachamim meant, that it's true. Midah can I get midah? They did sexual sin and their main punishment was for their sexual sin. But the thing, the sin that stripped them of any defense, of any defense lawyer, any guardian angel coming and saying, hey, God have mercy on these people is because they had all the money in the world, they had all the abundance and fruits and vegetables and food in the world and they still went and stole from each other. That, then God says, you know what? It shows that everything you're doing is just to rebel against me. So Hashem, we have to see that it's a fascinating idea that Zerah Shimshon is saying, and that is, is that when one has no excuse to sin, it makes the sin much more worse. And that's why exactly that they deserve to get punished. Have a wonderful day and please subscribe as my birthday gift. We want to get 500 subscribers and have a wonderful day.